Hey everyone, this is a uh, 2008 Toyota Prius uh, <laughs> motor, as you can tell. And what I'm doing is replacing, I'm sure several videos that you've seen, I'm replacing this right here, which is the electronic anti-skid brake crap booster. It's all electric. It's a bunch of bullshit. Whoever designed this, uh, if it was a man, I'd open hand slap him in public. If it was a woman, I'd have my little girl do it just to teach him a lesson that it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. This is the old one that I've already taken off. This is a new one. Uh, the new one I've got on the internet for less than $300. It has a one month warranty, so I got to get it in the next couple weeks and test it, bleed the brakes, reset the computer, rebreed, bleed the brakes. Uh, when you do this, uh, the coolant for the inverter has to be drained. No one talks about that in the videos. You gotta drain the coolant. And when you take off the brake line, which is part of the brake line right here, brake fluid is just going to pour out. It's going to make a huge mess. No one talks about that on the internet. Uh, when you get this out, there are so many little connectors like this right here. You can see I got a marker holding it because when I took the brake lines off, fluid just gushed out. So I ran the garage, got a marker, stuck it in there. If I took it out now, I'm sure it would just drain the rest of the fluid out. Uh, it came with the little plugs. I'm going to leave it in, the plugs in, until I get this in because crap's falling all over, all over the place. Uh, for whatever reason, Toyota decided to put a weight on the bottom of it, which makes this thing way heavy. Uh, the part is, like I said, anywhere from $250 to $1,200 for a new one. Uh, if you're a good mechanic or really mechanically inclined, yeah, you can do this. You can do it in an afternoon. No lie. You can get to the point where I am right now. I did it in two hours. I took it all apart. I don't know if you can see with the light. Let me zoom in a little bit the inverter and everything out. I took it out in like two hours, did all that I'm down to this point. So putting it back in is not, is going to be another big issue because it was so tight getting this in because it's a Y mount. So there's one here, one here and one right here. The two in the back, this one and this one mount on studs and bolts go on it. This one here, or I'm sorry, nuts go on these, and this is a bolt that get, drives down into the frame. And then there's a mounting bracket here for the inverter, and then a couple other things that go up here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, best thing I could do tell you is take a lot of photos as you take it apart so you know which way it goes back in. Best thing I could tell you, take photos. Or go buy the inverter and pay a mechanic $500 to do it. <laughs> That's a good idea right there. I like that idea. Everyone says, don't bleed the brakes on these. You don't have a computer. You can't do it. Uh, I'm going to try it. I'll let you know how it turns out. Everyone keeps saying, you, if you don't have a computer, you can't bleed the brakes. Uh, well, everyone said, you can't take this out unless you're a mechanic. And unless you really know what you're doing, it's really just taking things apart and putting it back together the way it came out. So uh, this is update one. I'll let you know how my Toyota Prius lives after this.